So this morning I woke up to the sound of two people making love. And it wasn't the kind of sound where you're like, oh my god, I wish I'd rather not have heard this. <laughs> it wasn't the kind of sound where it sounds like two people kind of masturbating inside each other or wanting to use each other for release of stress or tension or trying to get to something or get something from each other but it was really the sound of two people in complete union two people moving together as one two breaths but one experience and it was the sound of two people in complete surrender to the moment, in complete openness. And it sounded like there was a powerful dynamic there that somebody was giving, somebody was receiving, and then it was switching back and forth, but in that complete harmony and union. And I thought about how this is such a beautiful metaphor for life that you can either be in life to try to get something, you can be in life to try and relieve stress or even just get your needs met or you can be in life in a way where you are so open and so surrendered to the life experience where there is literally a complete blurring of physical boundaries where you don't know where your body ends and the other person's body begins or where your heartbeat ends and the beat of the music begins where the water of your body ends and the water of the ocean begins where there is just one meeting, one being, one experience <laughs> By the sounds of it somewhere over there there's an experience of not knowing where the chainsaw ends and the wood begins <laughs> and then there is silence again through all the noise there is always the silence underlying everything And so that's the question for today. Are you in life to get something, to strategize, to manipulate, or are you in life to give, to experience, to surrender, to receive? And in essence, this comes down to a practice, you could call it, or a way of being in every moment, of in this moment, do you feel tension in your body? Is your breath kind of suppressed and shallow? Is there tightness around your heart? Is there a feeling of a subtle or not so subtle holding back or waiting for something or somebody or for yourself to be in a certain way before you can open? Or are you actually opening and receiving the moment? And so in this moment, if you are experiencing tension in your system. Wherever you're feeling that, allow yourself to move with your awareness into that space and with the subtle guidance of your breath, gently, gently undo that tension, unclench from the inside. It's a <laughs> relaxing open breathing your way into expansion and with every breath out a very easy, subtle, gentle letting go yeah. 
So do that for a couple of breaths, just breathing into wherever you might be feeling some tension. And with every exhale, allowing that to melt and to fall away and to dissolve into existence. And when you're doing this, you might be feeling a melting, you might be feeling a letting go happening in your system, or you might breathe into this and the tension just stays there. And so this brings us to the next layer which is noticing that even contraction arises within openness, within the openness of existence itself. And so, from here, whether you're experiencing melting or holding on in your body or in your mind, allow yourself to fall into the arms of existence, allow yourself to relax open as <laughs> this space. Allow yourself to notice that there is a field of presence that is completely vast, open and free. Bringing your awareness back into the awareness itself that you are. And this awareness, in my experience, <laughs> in my experience, this awareness is completely loving. You know, so when your human is going through something from this space of this awareness, there can be this feeling of like, hey, my love, how are you doing? How can I support you today? What can I do for you? Because existence doesn't make that kind of separation that says I shouldn't be feeling like this or this is not okay. Because obviously it is accepted because it's happening. So allowing yourself to relax into that and open as that. my love i'll leave you with this today the love making with existence and with life through the breath through every cell breathing with the air around you breathing with the life energy breathing with the quantum fields and if you feel moved to share your experience of this or what this brought up for you or open for you then you know what to do it's probably a comment section down below wherever you're seeing this so you can write a sentence or a novel down there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go and join the morning yoga here. I'm in an event in Ojai, in California. <laughs> and... God! Okay, so the heartfelt and invitation that I'm extending to you is to come and join us on the big island of Hawaii end of November beginning of December November 29th until December 6th eight days of multi-dimensional bliss and embodied ecstasy in paradise we have desert dwellers liquid bloom shaman stream porangi sky love Trevor moon tribe kaminanda Myself, Jeff Kardakis, Ryan D. Brown. And this is eight days of a complete redesigning of your life. What people always describe, and I might put, put some testimonials and experiences from people down below because I can say, you know, this is awesome, this is going to change your life, and it will. But the cool thing is when the participants actually say this, and this is what people say all the time, is that this has completely transformed their lives. And after the experience of the Ecstatic Awakening Retreat, which basically is a retreat where this openness, this orgasmic experience of life, not necessarily in a sexual way, but just that experience of when there is literally no separation between you and infinity.
through the experience of the ecstatic awakening retreats this for a lot of people <laughs> becomes a permanent experience where there's a clear before and after where for perhaps their entire lives they've been walking around with a subtle contraction or a strong contraction and an inability to live the kind of life that they want to and then they come to the retreat and the shifts that they experience lead them into a life of literally everything they've been desiring always and creativity happens and adventures happen and money starts flowing and relationships happen and tribe happens I'm always so touched by the people who come and apart from the geniusly designed program I would say that the most magical part and nature and the volcanoes and the jungle oh man we're gonna be five minutes from the ocean for the Hawaii retreat with the black sand beach just next to us and close by we also have hot springs and the champagne ponds and the jungle and of course volcano Mama Pele and everything if you come earlier you can go over to the other side of the island and dive with dolphins which I'm really excited to do again so yes the people you meet <clears throat> and this is part of the magic that is just impossible to predict that the people you meet there very often hold a key to <laughs> The next step in your life, where you're gonna move, what you're gonna do, where you're gonna be, and what happens always with like very often with people who come to the retreat is that they, you know, they cannot go back to anything that doesn't resonate anymore, which might mean quitting their job, moving to a new place, or whatever. Now, disclaimer I'm not saying you should quit your job and leave your country, but what I am saying is follow your resonance. Trust that guidance, trust that inner voice, that expansion, that ex excitement slash sometimes scary feeling that pulls you towards something. Because that is quite literally guidance from the aspect of you that can perceive on these multi-dimensional planes. That is wiser than the mind, that's more intelligent than the brain, that can perceive on the level of the big picture <laughs> where it can see like okay this person is considering coming to this retreat this person is considering coming you need to meet this person there or there on the dance floor you're going to have the biggest epiphany of your life and everything is going to change from that moment and now if you're watching this before the retreat and then after you can look back and be like oh yes that totally happened and what also happened was stuff that was way, way, way bigger and way more magical than anything that I could have predicted. So yeah, just check it out. EcstaticAwakeningRetreat.com And if you're watching this after November, then we have a retreat coming up in July in Spain 2018, in December 2018 in Bali, as well as March 2018 in Bali, we have ecstatic pre-awakening retreats as well as an orgasmic women's retreat that is different but also incredibly beautiful opening healing and orgasmically expansive okay my loves so if you have watched this far i want to thank you for your time your dedication your presence I know you probably have a shit ton of stuff to do, so thank you so much for watching and for allowing this voice to <laughs> wash through your awareness and hopefully enrich your life in some way. So I wish you an absolutely beautiful day and looking forward to seeing you somewhere in the world. <laughs>